A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Astronomers were excited to discover the interstellar object last year. It was named Oumuamua. For a long time, humanity has had the impression that we're not alone in the universe. There may be forces and civilizations hiding out there in the vast galaxies. So many events have happened over the years to strengthen this belief further. One such event is the appearance of Oumuamua. The strange, mysterious space object showed up mysteriously and then sped off to outer space. But now it's back and seems to be headed for Earth. Join us in this video as we demystify the mysterious Oumuamua space object and reveal why it's so unique and controversial. Plus, we'll explore what might happen when this object finally makes contact with Earth. With our knowledge and technology so far, you would think that we should easily identify or classify any object spotted in space. But Oumuamua's story was different a space object that has baffled scientists and astronomers. The name Oumuamua stands for a messenger from afar arriving first. This object came from deep space, or what we'd call interstellar space. Interstellar space is the space between stars beyond our solar system. Occasionally objects can creep into the Earth's solar system from interstellar space. But Oumuamua was a surprise visitor from interstellar space that confused us. The first thing about this object was its appearance, it had an elongated shape, like a sausage or hot dog, but then scientists thought it was an asteroid. However, asteroids are usually rounded or irregular and orbit the sun in our solar system. Oumuamua seemed to have a defined shape like a finely cut or designed object, but it didn't orbit our sun the way asteroids do. The next strange thing about Oumuamua was its behavior. You'd expect a space object to travel at regular speeds other space objects travel, right? Well, Oumuamua broke this space rule. Scientists realized it seemed to be traveling at its own unique speed. This was what brought up the controversy that it could be a comet. Comets are icy bodies in space that develop tails made of volatile materials. These tails appear as the volatile materials vaporize off the comet's body due to the sun's immense heat. If you've ever looked up at the night sky and seen a dashing ball of light speeding across the night sky, you most likely saw a comet. Comets travel at speeds different from asteroids or planetary bodies. They can reach 100,000 miles per hour, depending on their distance from the sun. The closer a comet gets to the sun, the faster. The object's remarkable speed made scientists think it was a comet, but then it lacked a critical feature of most comets, escaping tail gas. Oumuamua looked really strange because of its movement through space, which wasn't comet-like. Some researchers believed it was jetting out gas from its sunlit side, enabling it to get pushed about in space like a rocket. However, the problem with this theory was that it had no detectable escaping gas, and so no tail like you would see on a typical comet. If Oumuamua were indeed a comet, scientists would have found out even if it was an interstellar object. One such interstellar comet was discovered in 2019, the Comet 2 Iborisov. It behaved like a rogue comet. This comet was the next interstellar trespasser after Oumuamua. Discovered in 2019, scientists found out it was a massive comet with a tail 14 times the size of the Earth. Unlike Oumuamua, it has fragmented several times over the years. Seeing as Oumuamua turned out to be neither asteroid nor comet, there arose a new theory that this strange visitor was the fragment of an exoplanet. It suggested that an asteroid may have collided with an outer space planet, sending pieces of such a planet flying into space. Oumuamua became a mystery from the first day it was spotted. The object was first spotted on October 19, 2017, using the PANSTARS Observatory in Hawaii. PANSTARS is an acronym for Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System. It is a colossal telescope equipped with one of the world's largest digital cameras. It boasts a 1.4 billion pixels camera. This telescope was built to identify space objects seen as potential threats to Earth. In other words, objects that could collide and cause damage upon impact. When astronomers manning this telescope spotted the strange object flashing through our solar system like a beacon, they concluded it was something they had never seen before, and so they named it Oumuamua. At first, they believed Oumuamua was just a sausage-shaped object tumbling through space. 
but its true form was revealed many days after it passed through our solar system. Oumuamua is measured to be 377 by 364 by 62 feet in dimensions. This proved that Oumuamua wasn't actually shaped like a cigar or sausage, but like a pancake. When Oumuamua passed the closest point to the sun on September 9, 2017, it moved surprisingly fast, about 196,000 miles per hour. Moreover, it maneuvered around the sun in a way that made scientists conclude that this object wasn't just being carried by the gravitational force of space and had come from somewhere beyond our solar system. This is where the alien theory was born. Much controversy and panic set in as this information was shared with the science community and the public. The idea of a foreign object exploring our solar system was terrifying. Our sun had no influence on this unknown object as it darted past it in space. Not only was the propelling force seen from Oumuamua stronger than what scientists are used to seeing from comets or other planetary bodies, but it was also a continuous push, one that seemed deliberate. Then, it appeared like the object was speeding up to escape the sun's heat and return to its home outside the solar system. Oumuamua's strange acceleration made many believe it was an alien spacecraft. Some theories suggested it was an extraterrestrial probe, like our Voyager. But rather than being powered by fuels, Oumuamua may be powered by some unknown internal power source. No one knew where this object came from, and it was a dead end trying to discover how old it was. Doing so would mean getting a live sample or a close-up view of the object. But Oumuamua was traveling at a speed that would make neither of these possible. It was traveling so fast that no telescope on Earth could get a clear enough image of it. This is why scientists initially thought it was cigar-shaped, only to find out later that it's pancake-shaped. And so, the alien spaceship theory spread and seemed to be the only viable explanation of this weird space phenomenon. Some researchers came to exotic conclusions to explain where this visitor came from and how it operated. One Harvard professor of astronomy named Avalab postulated that Oumuamua is an alien spacecraft powered by a light sail. This space propulsion method entails the use of the radiation given off by the sun. And so, Avalab was suggesting that the object was being propelled by solar radiation. So as photons bounced off its surface, it generated energy for movement. However, this postulation had a few flaws. An object could only be propelled by solar radiation if it is tiny or light with a very low density. Also, it would need a large surface area to capture sufficient solar radiation for space propulsion. However, these arguments are based on our current level of scientific knowledge and tech abilities. Suppose we are dealing with a civilization far more advanced than ours. In that case, it's possible that solar radiation can power a spacecraft even when it's as big as Oumuamua and has little or zero plates for absorbing radiation. This advanced civilization theory would also explain why the object is so undetectable. In fact, there are speculations that it could be using a cloaking mechanism, making it appear like a space rock. However, with all these facts, scientists are reluctant to admit that Oumuamua is an alien spacecraft, even though a well-renowned astronomer put forth this theory. And so, other viable ideas have been put forth to explain what Oumuamua really is. One of the more accepted ones is that Oumuamua is a pancake-shaped piece of debris from an exoplanet like Neptune or Pluto. In 2021, two Arizona State researchers insisted in their published papers that the object was most likely a hydrogen iceberg. These astrophysicists from Arizona State University named Alan Jackson and Stephen Desch believed that some space object must have hit the planet Oumuamua originated from, and the violent collision sent the object steering toward our solar system some 400 to 500 million years ago. They clearly stated that the planet Oumuamua originated from was similar in nature and composition to Pluto. Their unique theory also seemed to explain Oumuamua's acceleration. According to these astrophysicists, the rocket effect of Oumuamua was caused by the rapid evaporation of nitrogen from the icy object. In other words, as nitrogen abruptly changed from solid to gas, it pushed the object forward. And because nitrogen is highly present in our solar system, this process must have gone undetected by telescopes. In summary, they postulated that Oumuamua was made from nitrogen ice. At the time, this theory made sense and seemed to end the Oumuamua mystery. But not long after, this nitrogen ice theory became invalid. It was kicked against by astrophysicists at Harvard University. 
According to these astrophysicists, there isn't enough nitrogen in the universe to make an object like Oumuamua. And besides, pure nitrogen has only been found in Pluto. And so, this nitrogen ice theory was termed preposterous. Right now, Oumuamua seems to be leaving our solar system, and scientists speculate it will enter interstellar space in the late 2030s. But there's still a fear, a phobia that Oumuamua may make another sudden maneuver and return to Earth once more. After all, it has once again popped up on the radar. Though it's currently a long way from Earth, given the strange behavior of this object and its weird orbiting, Oumuamua may return. It would have been better if we knew exactly what this object was and how to stop it. But sadly, it's proven to be a formidable space adversary with tremendous speed. Oumuamua's speed is 5.5 astronomical units per year. That's over 90,000 kilometers per hour. This is way faster than our fastest spacecraft. The fastest recorded speed of any manufactured spacecraft is 57,000 kilometers per hour. So there's no way to catch up with this space mystery object. It is faster than anything we've ever sent into space. Until we somehow push the boundaries of our space instruments and tech, we may not learn more things about Oumuamua. In 2017, Project Lyra, an initiative inspired by Oumuamua, was launched. Its sole goal was to find a way to launch a spacecraft that could travel fast enough to meet interstellar objects like Oumuamua and 2 i borisov This could be done by using an innovative light sail spacecraft that could potentially reach Oumuamua in the early 2040s. It's estimated that the Lyra project should launch a dedicated aircraft between 2030 and 2033, which will reach Oumuamua by 2047 or 2049. Realizing this dream is possible, as scientists have made significant improvements and innovations in spacecrafts, for instance, the LightSail 2, a remarkably small spacecraft, runs solely on solar radiation and has made 18,000 orbits around Earth covering a distance of 8 million kilometers. This craft can send tiny probes quickly through space by bouncing high-powered lasers off its tiny sails. If further improvements are made to these such spacecrafts, in a few years, we may have something fast enough to reach Oumuamua. But as it turns out, we may not need to bother traveling to Oumuamua after all, because it seems to be heading toward the Earth. Although scientists have revealed that Oumuamua is currently at the planet Neptune, there's still the fear that this object may return to Earth due to its strange orbiting style. If this happens, a lot of things can happen. In case you think Oumuamua can't get to Earth after going so far, you're mistaken. Remember, till now, we don't know exactly what this object is or the full extent of its abilities. Earlier in this video, we mentioned how Oumuamua suddenly sped up when it got close to the Sun, about to exit our solar system. If indeed this object is an alien spaceship, then it may be able to travel at such tremendous speed constantly to get to Earth in the quickest time possible. And what happens then? Well, the first thing will be a massive impact. Collision of this space object with the Earth will cause massive destruction, landslides, mudslides, and so on. If Oumuamua is a spaceship, then we may have a space invasion problem on our hands, and no one knows what diseases, pathogens, or deadly viruses these aliens may bring with them. They may even be civilizations with tech far more advanced than ours, like what you see in sci-fi movies. Now all this is just speculation. But we can't rule out these possibilities as a renowned scientist firmly believed that Oumuamua was an alien ship. Then again, if it turns out to be just a space rock or fragment of a destroyed planet, we'd only have to worry about cleaning up the mess after the collision or impact. What do you think? Is this object a spaceship, and will it return and collide with Earth? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.